Hey fam, let's start with Deathloop. Now I have no idea what's really going on here to be honest. You're an assassin and someone's messing with time. When you die the night starts over, you have eight targets. Your ex-girlfriend who is now my current girlfriend is trying to kill you. Probably should have treated her better. I guess you have to find a way to kill all eight targets without dying while she's hunting you. And maybe the locations of the targets change whenever you come back after getting clapped. Should be fun. All I know is she's bad as hell. And you better watch your head because she's coming for it. You keep forgetting, Colt. I'm not like those other idiots. Only got one name on my list. Yours. I told you. Next up, Demon Souls. Yeah, I'm not going to play this game. Not because I think it's bad, just because I'm not much of a Souls player. I got Sekiro last year, and I, it was my closest thing, and I still haven't finished it. And every time an enemy kills me, it's not just virtual. And my confidence and pride take a major hit. What made me mad for this whole trailer was all these motherfuckers. Yeah, nah, I'm not dealing with it. Spider-Man Miles Morales. Now, since the teaser we got at the first live stream PS5 reveal, y'all know this game is at the top of my list. Between the facts that the first one from 2018 was fire, the 2018 one easily being the best Spider-Man game since Spider-Man 2 back in 04, it looking beautiful on next gen, and the fact that it's Miles Morales makes it one of the most anticipated console launch window games. What we learn from the gameplay is that it takes place in Harlem, which is still kind of weird because, as we all know, Miles is from Brooklyn. But I guess that makes sense because it probably takes much longer to build a computer-generated Brooklyn than it does a computer-generated Manhattan, seeing as how Brooklyn is way bigger than Manhattan. But whatever, this fight later takes place on the bridge, so I still have hope that maybe we'll be able to cross it. Although that bridge is kind of taken out and there's no more, so crossing it might be a dub. It also seems like the enemy is trying to collect some type of energy, whether it be electrical or other, because this chick takes the canister and just puts it on her backs and dips. What made me mad in this trailer was, well, first, she kicked the shit out of Miles, sent him flying. But second, in regular Spider-Man fashion, we still don't understand Spider-Man's power scale. Like, if he can pull a breaking bridge together, why the hell is it hard for him to hold up a bus? He should be able to fling this bus around OD. I mean, you could argue that the force it takes to pull the bus up exceeds the force it takes to pull these parts of the bridge together, since the bridge still has some main cables intact and virtually has no acceleration compared to the bus accelerating downward. But... Since force is mass times acceleration, I still don't see it. But that's a whole physics equation I'm not even about to get into. Resident Evil 8. Yeah, I already know I'm not fucking with this shit. Again, this is another one where I'm not not playing it because I don't think it's good. I'm not playing it because Resident Evil built for folks that's built different. I'm not one of them folks. All I know is this main character better try his luck back in the woods or back on the side of the street wherever he came from because y'all tripping. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. That's a long ass name. Not too much to say here. It's another COD game. I've been following heavy since the Easter egg hunt. It's gonna be lit. It actually looks like the story is gonna be fire. I heard it plays like a hybrid between Black Ops 1, 2, and 4 with a decent time to kill because Black Ops 4's time to kill was absolutely atrocious. That game, it just, oh, it's, I'm not hating. It's just that it's the only COD game I can say I thoroughly didn't enjoy. What made me mad? The RCXD card seems fast as hell and will be a real problem in multiplayer. Uh, that it seems like no matter where you shoot this guy, it's gonna be an all-out chase. I'm really just nitpicking here, because, you know, as Call of Duty fans, we, we, we gotta be the most toxic community out there. Oh, oh, yeah, and this part. That line actually made me mad because obviously it wasn't part of the plan because that would have been a dumbass plan. This part didn't make me mad, actually quite the opposite. It made me more so wonder who trained this creative character because Mason was never this cold. This boy cold. Next is Harry Potter Hogwarts Legacy, another game with a long ass name for no reason. I'm somewhat excited for this game mainly because I grew up during the early 2000s when the Harry Potter craze hit and was easily the biggest and most popular cinematic universe next to Marvel, which started after Harry Potter, of course. Obviously, they were all based off of the books, and Fantastic Beasts is cool, but the truth is, I kind of miss these movies. Anyways, being on Next Gen, we all know it looks great, but the cool part is that it's an RPG in the Wizarding World. I assume you can create a character, and in classic Sims fashion, you can give the character personality traits, and depending on those traits, they decide what house you'll be a part of. 
Or at least that's how I do it. The one thing I know is I don't want to be a part of Hufflepuff. Not because I don't like them, but because they do them brothers dirty. They clapped the one cool Hufflepuff brother, Cedric, who out of the whole house was certainly the only brother who could get any girls, and they made Neville a cornball up until the last movie when he randomly became the goat. Which is kind of funny because up until the end, we were all looking around like, this this was the guy that was supposed to arrive with Harry for the main character spot? Miss Rowling, you different. The point is, I'm trying to be in either Gryffindor, for obvious reasons, because it's the goat house, or Ravenclaw, because they got blue or purple for their house colors, which is tough, and you know nothing about them if you just watch the movies like I did. Hey, at least I'm honest. But yeah, y'all, yeah, that pretty much concludes my random stream of consciousness about the thoughts on this PlayStation 5 trailer. Um, oh yeah, there was this. Gregory, your friends are worried about you. They're here with me. Please, come out. Yeah, nah, don't listen to her, Gregory. She lying to you. Whoever she's with, they ain't your friends. You better keep hiding. Find a way out, because this is wild. This game, this whole trailer made me mad. Like, all I know is Gregory better never leave his hiding spot, because this chick gonna kill him if he does. And all I learned from this teaser is that I ain't spending one night at Freddy's, let alone five. But yeah, y'all, um, that's pretty much it. I didn't forget about Odd World 2 and Final Fantasy 100. I just don't really have an experience with them. Final Fantasy looks dope, but it always does. It's just that it's a crazy story that feels all over the place because I haven't thoroughly played through one of them. But I might check it out. But y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all are looking forward to the most, what you're most excited for, which trailers intrigued you the most. You know, if you had any stream of consciousness, kind of like mine. Just let me know down in the comments. If you like the video, y'all know where to click that. Hit the thumbs up and join the AGP fam if you want to see more videos like this. But I'm going to catch y'all later, all right? Peace.